Hello, this is Lesson 5, Video 3, Graphing Absolute Value, Standard Form. The formula for standard form absolute value is y is equal to the absolute value of mx plus b plus c. When graphing these forms of absolute value, the first thing that you need to do is to find the vertex. The formula for the vertex is negative b divided by m comma c. And you'll remember that the form was y is equal to the absolute value of mx plus b plus c. So it's written mbc. If you can remember mbc in that order, that's how the numbers work. And so it's very easy to um, just pick out the numbers in order to fill in the formula. So again, we need negative b over m. So b is negative 4, so negative, negative 4. And m is 2. So that would give us positive 4 divided by 2, which is 2. From there, you just need to pick up the c, and the c is negative 3. So our vertex is 2, negative 3. The next thing that you need to state is the slope. And your slope is always whatever is multiplied to x. So in this case, it's 2. And then since the um, whole absolute value is positive, this one's going to make a upward-facing v, so a standard v. Once you have the basics set up, you need to draw your graph. And again, labeling parts of it to ensure that everything is visible and easily able to be followed. Okay, so start by again graphing the vertex, so 2, negative 3. Once you've done that, again, the slope is 2. Anytime you're dealing with slope on absolute value, you do not just go one direction. Um, you either go up or down, but then you always go both left and right. So we're going to go up 2, to the right one and to the left one. Connect your dots, and you're done. There's nothing else to do on this graph. And again, if I ask you for the axis of symmetry, it's whatever cuts our graph in half. So for this, it would be x is equal to 2. Okay? Um, that's it. The biggest thing for this one is the vertex. It's really important that you remember the formula. And between the two equations that I've done, so we have y is equal to a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k. And then this new one of y is equal to the absolute value of mx plus b plus c. What you should recognize is the actual location of your slope. Okay? So when the slope is on the outside, it's hk. And when the slope is on the inside, it's negative b over m comma c. That is super important that you recognize the difference between the two different forms of absolute value. When it comes to the upward or uh, upward facing or downward facing, it's really just whether or not it's negative. If there's a negative outside of the absolute value, it's going to face down. Okay, so that's um, this. Make sure you take these notes and write down any questions or clarifications that you need. The example that you're going to do is y is equal to the absolute value of 3x plus 6 minus 1. And that is the end of this video.